would you ban transition surgery for adults? I don't know. Really? Yeah, really. See, We're paying a me, big price for it. And I think well, that I think that it was um, it was an, an act of stunning hubris to conduct the first trans surgery procedure. But, and it's not obvious to me at all that it's been a net social good. That was right wing pseudo intellectual Jordan Peterson unwilling to definitively say whether or not he believes that transgender adults should have the freedom to medically transition. Yeah. So the only other conservative, as far as I'm aware of, that has taken this extreme of a position is Matt Walsh, who self-identifies as a theocratic fascist. Now, if you are a so-called intellectual, to come to the same conclusion as an out-and-proud fascist is definitely a little bit worrisome. And you'd think that he'd care about his reputation, considering that he has sounded the alarm about authoritarianism and how he fears it. But now he's proving more and more that that was nothing more than projection. Because to not allow an adult the freedom to live the way that they want to live is an overtly, explicitly authoritarian stance. But I mean, Jordan Peterson has dropped the facade of being an intellectual, and now he's just a typical reactionary extremist who's coming to conclusions based on his own emotions. And emotionally unhinged lately, he seems to be. Now, this was such a bad look for him that his own fans on his own subreddit were cringing in response to this interview with Kyle Kalinske. One person writes, Rule 10, be precise in your speech. Jordan said, quote, criminal, and then redefined what criminal meant to fit his narrative. Criminal is a person who has committed a crime. A crime is an action or omission that constitutes an offense that may be prosecuted by the state and is punishable by law. What Jordan Peterson said is objectively false. The doctor was not a criminal and did not act outside the law. They're referencing Elliot Page's doctor. I'm very upset to see Jordan Peterson going down this path because I feel like most of what he says is important and true. He needed to correct himself here and instead he doubled down. Again, this is one of his own fans reciting his own book to him. This person says, Christ, Jordan Peterson comes across really bad in this. He's catastrophizing, angry, and relies heavily on the interviewer to calm him down enough to actually have a conversation. When he gets a question he doesn't want to answer, he falls back to, what do you mean by almost always to deflect rather than genuinely inquire. Another person writes, God, Jordan is such a bitter fucking asshole now. The bad vibes coming off him are suffocating. And it's not like I disagree with his point that kids shouldn't be having these surgeries, but for him to blame a trans celebrity and say he has a responsibility to be or act a certain way, fuck off with that conservative shit. Then for him to not even say an adult should be able to get the surgery they want, WTF has happened to this man. This person writes, Jordan Peterson five years ago, I will respect the wishes of any transgender individual who requests to be referred to, to as a certain pronoun. Just don't compel me by law to do that. The bill didn't compel him to use different pronouns anyway. Jordan Peterson now, this he, she, they is grooming children into becoming trans. He shouldn't have appeared in so many magazines. Gender affirming surgery should not be legal. I mean, when your own fans think that you're no longer an effective communicator of the message that they want you to deliver, that's when you've lost the plot. And it seems like Jordan Peterson has been mentally unwell for a while. He cries very frequently, melts down, reacts in abrasive ways. And we're going to watch another clip where Kyle couldn't even really ask him a question without him just pushing back and playing semantic games in a really overly emotional and bizarre way, quite frankly. Take a look. I just have to say, Jordan, I think it's a little bit of a moral panic. I just don't see some sort of, you know, frenzy of okay, what people would you wanting consider, to become trans. What, first of all, that's a hell of a way to put it. What, is, Why don't you that? take a look at the increase in, in surgical interventions and see what you think? I mean, how many do you think well, is too many? How again, many wait, look, the, if we're talking about I'll, I'll answer your question. I'll answer your question. The argument is it, it used to be very repressed because that's very outside of the tradition and the norm and the standard. And that now we what sort of let the be, boot off the neck a little bit. Suppressed? What used to be suppressed? All the, exactly. the entire LGBTQ community. I mean, it was very recently we okay, even got gay all, marriage in the United States. First of all, they're not a community. Well, you understand what is the point this I'm community? making. No, I'm, no, actually, neither I understand it nor you. And that's why we're delving into it. <laughs> first of all, they're not a community. That's just a catchphrase. It's a buzzword. 
Yeah. So that right there is why his fans are turning on him, because even if they agree with the message that he's espousing, they don't believe that he is an effective deliverer of said message. And you could see Kyle was in good faith trying to have a conversation with him, but this intellectual didn't want to have a conversation. He was playing semantics games. Unbelievable. This is what the right wing has to offer when it comes to intellectuals, really? It seems like this is a really petulant child who refuses to engage in good faith with someone who just wants to have a conversation and push back if need be. Now, Jordan Peterson is going to concern troll in this interview about gay people and claim that really it's not transgender people who are transitioning. Gay people are being diagnosed with gender dysphoria, and they're the ones who are transition, uh, transitioning overwhelmingly so. Um, now, He's no ally to gay people, even though he's implying that he is, because before he's explained how he supports conversion therapy. But really, the reason why he thinks that transgender people, transgender adults in particular, shouldn't be allowed to transition, presumably, is because he thinks it's trendy. So he's tweeted before about how 40% of Zoomers identify with the LGBTQ plus community, and it's not necessarily because, in his view, society is becoming more open-minded. It's because gender ideology, according to him, is being pushed on people. So this is a trend more than people just being their authentic self as society evolves. But there's two problems with that. First and foremost, we've seen historically how marginalized people come out of the closet when their identity is no longer socially stigmatized. For example, look at the history of left-handedness. I'll put the chart on the screen. I mean, this was something that was heavily demonized before, and then there was an explosion of left-handed people once it was socially acceptable to become left-handed. But it wasn't going to be the case ever that left-handed people would become 100% of the population. It's just that we found out the true number of left-handed people. And this was because times changed. It was no longer stigmatized. And another reason why what he's saying is wrong is because in order to suggest that being uh, trans is like a trend as people try to, you know, claim sometimes, TERPs make this claim as well, well, there would have to be an overwhelmingly large number of people who are detransitioning. And that's not happening. In fact, doctors overwhelmingly are getting gender dysphoria, uh, gender dysphoria diagnoses correct. As NBC News explains, transgender children are unlikely to detransition or come to identify with their birth sex five years after their social transition, a new study found. The findings, published Wednesday in the journal Pediatrics, comes from a larger project called the Trans Youth Project. Researchers at Princeton University began in 2013 to track 317 kids between the ages of 3 and 12 who socially transitioned, the first and largest sample of its kind, according to Christina Olson, the study's lead author and a professor of psychology at Princeton. The results showed that five years after their initial social transition, 94% of the study participants were living as either trans girls or trans boys. The remaining youth had retransitioned, as the study called it, and no longer identified as binary transgender. Of that group, 2.5% came to identify with their birth sex. So the reason why this study is so important is because it is the first study of its kind where it tracks the development of trans youth for a long period of time. And they're talking about social transition. Trans children aren't being given surgeries. Like, th this is what they try to make it seem as if, like, okay, this young child is going to come out and then they'll have bottom surgery and then come to regret it. But that's not happening. If you know anyone who's a trans adult, they'll tell you how expensive transitioning is in a country where we don't have universal health care. So this certainly isn't happening with children. But this is tracking children who are transgender and it is confirming that the retransition rate is so low that proves that doctors are getting it right this isn't a trend far from it in fact but still regardless of what the studies show regardless of professionals saying this is medically necessary for trans youth jordan peterson not only says that this is wrong and it's a trend but he uses his emotional response to deduce that because kids are being influenced by adults, well, maybe we should consider banning adults from transitioning as well. It's truly authoritarian. Now, as Sean Wilcoxon of The Lever explains, junk science is being used to attack trans youth. In Florida and elsewhere, Republican lawmakers are using faulty research to deny young people access to vital gender-affirming care. He explains, early last month, the Florida Agency for Healthcare Administration, which regulates the state's Medicaid program and health facilities, declared several services for the treatment of gender dysphoria, i.e. sex reassignment surgery, cross-sex hormones, and puberty blockers are not consistent with generally accepted 
accepted professional medical standards and are experimental and investigational with the potential for harmful long-term effects. This determination flies in the face of scientific consensus. The American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry, the American Academy of Pediatrics, and the American Medical Association are just a few of the many medical associations that deem gender-affirming care crucial for transgender youth. Policies like this that make social and medical transitioning difficult or impossible for young people could have disastrous effects on trans youth who are already at very high risk of suicide. A 2021 peer-reviewed study by the Trevor Project, a nonprofit that supports LGBTQ plus teens, published in the Journal of Adolescent Health, found that gender-affirming hormone therapy led to significantly lower rates of depression, suicidal thoughts, and suicide attempts among transgender and non-binary youth. These are facts based on a consensus of medical professionals. So for a clinical psychologist like Jordan Peterson to reject the consensus of the medical community and claim that he is just looking out for children and their well-being, it is absurd. If you care about children, then you would allow them to socially transition, to get puberty blockers, because this is what helps them. But Jordan Peterson is not coming to his conclusion, his anti-trans conclusion on the basis of science or facts or even reason. He's coming to that conclusion on the basis of his religion and reactionary views. And it's really ironic that this individual always talks about how the left is authoritarian. Oh, well, they're authoritarian because they want to impose beauty standards on you with plus-sized models in Sports Illustrated or whatever. But yet he himself is saying that adults should not be allowed to medically transition possibly. He hasn't said that definitively, but he's dropped the veneer of intellectualism. There's no longer that facade. Now, he's just a hateful bigot who has a vendetta against trans people for some reason, and it's really despicable and gross. And you can see how unhinged he is when he refuses to engage in good faith with someone who just wants to get to the bottom of his views. But there's no rational basis for his views, so you see why he comes across as so emotional. But keep talking, Jordan Peterson, because the more that you talk, the more you prove our points for us. Up yours, up yours, up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Woke moralists, woke moralists, woke moralists. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.